Welcome back to a bit gamey and another history video on uh, this time on the Sumerian chariot runners. So if you don't have any interest in Sumerian chariot runners, and, uh, I won't be surprised. Then, um, then this is not for you. The situation here is um, I was originally one of my plans was to um, do a kind of regiment through the ages thing, starting at the very beginning and then and uh, stopping off at anything I thought was interesting along the way. So starting with, you know, the standard uh, tribal sort of, you know, uh, you know, just mobs basically, mobs of people fighting each other. And then the next stage after that was going to be Sumerians. And uh, I had a couple of issues with the whole Sumerian thing. So I didn't, never went anywhere. And uh, I'd say the first thing that was uh, in the previous video about um, the chariots, um, you know, the fact that all the well, proto chariots and how they, you know, they maybe you know, could have been, you know, effective, you know, in limited context. Like, you know, if you're fighting swarms of um, barbarians, or you know, and not even proper, not not even proper barbarians, just you know, like a, you know, like you know, really scrap or just a bunch of guys with no armor and no stuff, just throwing javelins. Then, the, then they, they could have been viable as an actual, you know, as a weapon. Maybe not this though later, later on, but, um, but anyway, blah, blah, blah. So, and you see, you see these, um, you know, the stand, you know, say the, the chariots with a load of javelins and stuff for throwing around. So you can, you know, chase after these guys in the, in the they called them Nim, I think they called them. I don't know, I don't know how it's pronounced, but it's just you know, a swarm of guys with kind of hunting bows and javelins. And you can imagine, it, it, you know, even a rubbish chariot working against that, because you, you just chase into them, and you know, you've got protection for yourself in the um, in the little chariot thing, and lots of javelins you can throw, um, and they, they scatter. And you can throw javelins, and javelins in their back, it's blah blah blah. But um, I'm not entirely sure it would work very well, you know, with these kind of um, donkey donkey carts. You know, if you couldn't turn around quickly to get away, you know, you could chase them and what if they turned turn back and start firing you. So anyway, I got past that one when I saw that uh, donkey's racing uh, thing from um, India, Pakistan. But then there's a second point that um, got to me, which is um, the chariot runners. Because uh, I was assuming at the first that they would just be kind of, you know, a standard kind of levy um, spearman type thing. You know, not very, uh, you know, just, just the bottom rank of um, of the of that society. But um, but I sort of started to wonder about that. My first thought was, um, you know, if you've got these uh, these donkey carts chasing off after some um, you know some tribal skirmishes, you know, if they got in trouble, you know, you, you want some uh, some backup. You know, so you have the cha chariot runners, which is a you know a thing throughout the time when you have chariots. They're guys who run behind it, so they won't you know, have a lot of armor and shield and stuff. They just run along behind, and they can back them up. Like if they need to turn round or whatever, they can run in front of the chariots and and kind of ward them while they turn round and until you know, if, if a chariot breaks and it kind of falls over, and then the guy inside it sort of falls over, they can kind of rescue them, pull them back. So that was my original thought, but um, I'm not sure that's correct now. Like I say, on the um, on these steels, I think they're called uh, from Suma, you get these pictures of these, you know, these troop types. And you know, you've got these chariot guys, and you've got the spear guys. Blah 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 blah. But you know, you've got these picture of these from these um, steels or stelae or whatever they're called um, of you know the sort of units that they had. And like that that one is uh, says it's thing called from the steel of the steel of the vultures. So that that's that's some kind of general officer figure at the front. And so you can see these um, you know they're trying to represent a kind of um, you know a block of infantry with you know, some big shields at the front and uh, a bunch of spears sticking out. So that's that. But and that's the kind of representation of um, what they look like, you know. Uh, a wooden kilt, a sort of a defensive cloak with um, copper studs in them, copper helmet, spear, blah blah blah. 
So yes, yeah, so that, that's the sort of general pattern for the kind of heavy infantrymen. But the thing that kind of um, interests me was this bit down here. So you've got the you know the general type of figure with the uh, the infantry there. Then you have here and on below that, it's called the steel of the vultures. Um, you got you know the chariot guys with all the javelins and the thing, and you got these guys behind them. And um, I don't know. It, again, this is all totally um, what's the word uh, hypothetical or, or guessed or whatever the word is. Uh, you know, no kind of con conscious uh, evidence. This was the way it was. But it says it's interesting. That you've got these guys with no shields following a chariot. And so I was wondering if they were the chariot runners. And the thing about them is, you know, they've got the copper helmets again. Uh, and I think I, I've seen on some. Uh, one of these pictures somewhere there was that they had uh, these uh, copper axes as well and I just made me wonder if um, these were the chariot runners and also and second point was um, if they had the copper helmets and um, copper axes then uh, you know, maybe they weren't just the bottom levy you know, if you're thinking late, in later times in um, Rome or whatever you know, the, the, the sort of the skirmishes that are the least um, they're kind of the lowest of the low basically and uh, and, maybe, and it's just these guys having their kind of copper helmets and um, and uh, copper axes, but no shields. Just makes me wonder if they were actually an elite. Um, that they were, you know, that they were, the chariot runners were a part of a, and the, the, the chariots themselves and the chariot runners were an elite unit or an elite um, layer in the Sumerian forces. So that was that's what got that's, that's what um, got me uh, confused. Or that's what I did. Trying to figure that out. Uh, you know, see if that was uh, yeah, how, how to represent a Sumerian, you know, the, the chariot wing of the Sumerians is the whether they should be, uh, you know, this kind of you know Venetes type thing, the, the bottom layer, or actually the top layer, like an elite unit. And yeah, that's a, a kind of again that's the uh, a, a tracing of the original drawing. You know, again the king general type leading the uh, heavy infantry with their spears and their big shields and then these guys you know they got the they got the woolen um i don't know what you call it it's a kilt plus a thing you know it goes over the shoulder as well the can't really quite see what the weapons are but it looks to me like they're um like a copper axe plus javelins that's what it looks like to me and uh and that that, that would fit with chariot runners because they're not going to be you know running off the chariots with the giant shield so they just uh but they had to say they've got a copper axe and a copper and a copper helmet it kind of implies they're not just the sort of um the, the dregs um so that original um picture doesn't fit it doesn't fit them at all and, and uh and that's what made me wonder oops and that's what makes me wonder that these were the chariot runners and these are an elite unit and so that's an image of what i think they might have been like the uh, chariot runners. You know, so they copper helmet, um, some you know this kind of heavy woolen stuff. There's some kind of protection, and a uh, spear or javelin, and uh, and an axe. Um, and say, so, and, and the, well, it's, it's kind of reminding when you're looking at things in the, in the past in history, where there's no clear evidence, or isn't very clear evidence. And you look through, and one, one idea is to, to look through times in the you know, in the past or future where there's something similar and see if um maybe you know there's a because of the, you know, the logic of you know, military fighting is going to be the same uh, in different times different periods and so maybe you know that's what the uh spare and chariot runners, chariot runners look like and they were say like a, a an elite not a not a scraggy band of um people just didn't, just didn't, didn't have any money so what do um obviously you know any sensible person you could just use the scraggy um chariot runners or, or scraggy skirmishers as your chariot runners and just forget about it but maybe an ocd i didn't want to do that and then there's a a nice model of exactly what i imagine they were like in the hat uh, 172 scale box of sumerian infantry uh, it's like this figure there you can see it I don't know if you can but
but he's got a kind of cross belt of stuff um, around his chest as a kind of partial armour, a copper helmet, a copper axe and a javelin or a spear. And that, that to me, that's, that's, that's kind of exactly what I was looking for. But um, I find 20 mil too small. Basically, I did get some, and uh, they're too, too small for me for eyesight and stuff. For painting, it's just not any fun. So I wanted something like that, but in 28 mil. Dope. So looking at all the um, the warlord. I mean, in a way, done this actually matters now because I kind of gave up on doing ancients anyway because um because those you know the size of the size of the units didn't fit for me. You know, sort of like a. In my my favourite periods were um, uh, Egypt. Uh, Alexander and early Rome and both the last two wanted pike units and um, I like really big pike, pike units not small ones so I gave up on that in theory but um, I'm still kind of curious I say the, the, the warlord um, stuff bronze age stuff doesn't, doesn't have quite what I want it doesn't have that kind of you know, shieldless but with a helmet and um, what we call it uh, yeah, shieldless with a spear and an axe, and no helmet. Um, so that was a, a no go. So that's, what, that's how I kind of um, I gave up on that whole um, regiments through the ages thing. But there's another lot of um, Sumerians from C C P models. Um, you know, they look very nice. That's the thing, but. It did, they didn't. Um, they didn't work either because they you got the got the spearmen with their special shields and stuff. Uh, that, that that works, and you got a you know, <coughs> a kind of baby chariot, and that works. But um, yeah, you got these javelin guys with these giant shields, which you know, doesn't really work for me. Um, you know, it's nice you know, things they would work. Blah blah blah. Anyway, the point being. I only just realised um, when I was doing this that um, these guys, that they, they're these guys with the axes, you know, they come with shields, but you don't, you know, you can leave them off. So I just realised just as, as I was um, thinking about doing this, is, um, I'll probably do that. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to do a whole army. I just want, I got this, this weird thing of wanting to do like you know one regiment kind of thing for all the way down through history. Anyway, blah blah blah. So that 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 they'll they'll do. I'd, I said I'd given up on this before because I just assumed they had because of the um, shields, but they they glue on. So I just don't need to glue them on. That solves the issue. I mean, they can they maybe drill something through the hole, through the hand for um for a spear. If you imagine that that figure um, with uh, with without the shield and a, and the spear drilled into the um, into the um, hand. Then that's pretty much exactly what you know I was um, going for there. So so that was uh, <laughs> totally gone uh, gone sideways. And yeah, so basically that's the idea. That, that I think the um, I think the Sumerian chariot runners look like that, and you know on that and shown on that um, steel. I can't say steel. Steel doesn't make sense. I'm going I'm, I'm to call them a stele, even though it's um, probably not the right pronunciation. But you can tell what the letters are better so anyway those, that's just what i think those are there those are them those are the chat runners and that's what they look like and i can make them by getting some of these and just not putting the um the uh shield on so again that, that's all kind of a all bit fortunate really because i say I've, I've not I've been i've been not doing it deliberately because um because i couldn't think of it i couldn't think of a way of fixing that problem of the what I've wanted. it's so dumb because I'm just gonna get I'm gonna get one I'll probably get one chariot and like uh, four to six of these things just to place around it or whatever just to sort of um, make the point that this, this, this was the, the next stage because well, I'm going to talk about that another point but the, to, my, to my mind you know Suma was the first stage was um, just this random dude running around you know with javelins and hunting bows sort of fighting each other and then there's you know the beginning of civilization with Suma. And uh, a part of a part of that was um their chariots. Um and so I wanted a unit of chariots. Well when I say unit, I wanted I wanted the example of um Sumerian chariots with some chariot runners plus some um 
uh, some of the heavy heavy infantry. Something like that. It's, it's not going to be a proper army. It's just going to be a thing. And they're going to do some stuff from on Egypt. You know, blah blah blah. Just going through history. Um, but yeah, but <laughs> but this while I was going to talk about this. I sort of just realised about this. Anyway, blah blah blah. Um, I, 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 I think I've have I think if I missed the point. Oh, I don't. All right, so I've lost the thread and all that. Um, but yeah, that, that's 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 the point. It's, it's regiments through the ages, um, and the, the Sumerian stage. I was like st kind of stuck because uh, first because of the chariots thing. I didn't think didn't believe in them as, that they could work as chariots until I saw the um, chariot racing in um, with donkeys in uh, India. And the second thing I was stuck on was uh, thinking about the um, about the um, blah, 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 them. yeah the chariot runs. But anyway, now I've got to see these. I'm going to get a few of these CP models and um, just tick that box that's been stuck in my head for a while. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, it's probably totally random. But anyway, so yes, yeah, so that, that's it. That's that's my um, that's my conclusion. That um, the Sumerian chariot runners look like this. My evidence, very rough evidence, is that. You know, I'm guessing that these are the chariot runners. And uh, and that's our unit. You, know, you have some chariots in the front and some chariot runners either on the same base or uh, behind. And uh, so I'm going to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'll lost the plot. So who knows if that makes any sense. So I've, you know, for, for a quick recap, I did that because I kind of confused myself along the way. The main point of the um, of this thing was that in this historic historical that um, I think the uh, the Sumerian chariot runners were a kind of a kind of an elite. They weren't just um, you know like in most armies the uh, skirmishers are the guys with the least money or the youngest. You know they're they're, they're, they're at the back. You know they're, they're not um, you know they're, they're kind of um, lowest of the low sort of thing. Whereas um, I think the uh, Sumerian chariot runners and chariot runners generally possibly were kind of elite um they had good equipment they uh you know you think you know, relatively expensive equipment you know copper helmets copper axes spears and the only thing they didn't have the shields because they got to kind of catch up with the um chariots and uh i assume they were an elite thing i had that idea a while back but um i gave up on because uh, i couldn't see any figures that would um, work for it Although these would, uh, these CP models ones do would, would work for it. Now, now, now I think of it, um, just not just leave the shields off. I think it's uh, the recent um, experience doing some um, kit bashing on the uh, on the uh, warlords plastic for the um, Spanish Succession War uh, gave me an idea. Cause I, I said, looked for all this you know, about a year ago or however long it was, and it just never occurred to me just to leave the. <laughs> Just to leave the shields off, it didn't, didn't cross my mind. Whereas um, now that I'm sort of done a few bit of kit bashing, it's sort of you, you see it straight away. But anyway, blah blah blah. So that was um, that's the uh, end result of all that, and um, it's given me another project to do, which is kind of annoying really. But um, you know, get that done. Uh, yeah, I could like two bit.